SCS students and staff. Today is March 30th, 2020. Welcome to our very first ever Trojan Success Hotline. This is message number one. Good morning and welcome. Some of us might be thinking, what is a Trojan Success Hotline? Mrs. Gorman and I thought it'd be a great way to get morning announcements out and start off your day with a positive note. These videos will last about 10 minutes every day to hopefully make you laugh and be ready to tackle the day. I am so glad to hear that everyone is doing so fine and well. We miss you here. We really do. With that being said, these Trojan Success Hotlines will be posted every day on Facebook and on your teacher's page. Some might be Seesaw, others might be Google Classroom. And I do have a YouTube channel link that will be in the description right here as we speak. So starting off today's message is with a quote. John Wooden's got a very powerful quote here. Don't let what you can't do stop you from what you can do right now. Now let's think for a moment. Sometimes we make things more complicated than what they really are. Sometimes we focus on all the wrong and all the negative. Now, if we would focus on what we can do right now, right to where you are, this is where the best success will come out. So one of our topics today that we will be talking about is having a designated work area. Having a designated work area is very important. This assures that the student, you guys, will have the very best success while finishing out your last couple of weeks in school. A designated work area is like when we do come to school, your teacher already has an assigned spot for you where you sit. This spot may change every couple weeks. You get to be in a different area of the classroom and get to sit by different people so that you can have the best learning possible. Now let's think, since we're not at school, we also need to really then think about, hmm, what at home could really help me be the best student I can be? If you can find a designated work area at your home or wherever you will be most days, this will help you become the best student you can be. Now, some of us might be thinking, what is a designated work area? A designated work area is an area where it's safe for you to work, where there are low to minimal distractions, no loud noises, and nothing to distract you around while you're working hard on finishing your schoolwork. Now, some areas in your house that might be considered a designated work area, maybe your bedroom, it may be the kitchen table. If mom and dad have an office, that could be an option. Or maybe you guys have your own separate tables already. But I would ask mom and dad to see what would help you out the best. So think about this. What could be a safe area that you could do your homework and that you could succeed the most at? Things that might not be a good designated work area are areas in the house where there are distractions like TVs, other siblings, toys, cell phones, and electronics. All those will prohibit you from being a successful student with working on your schoolwork. We don't expect you to work on everything all at once. Feel free to take a break in between math and reading. Take a break in between reading and writing. Take a break whenever is needed. Good morning, SES students, staff, and families. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020. Uh, today, it will be rainy at times. We could use some sunshine, I agree. The high will be 68 degrees with a low of 47 degrees. Um, even though it's raining, you can sit out on the porch and listen to the rain for a little bit. Um, I love the smell of rain. That's what I do sometimes, but I could really use some sunshine today. Rebecca McFarland is celebrating her birthday today. Bryce and Brody Hartman and Latavius Hopkins celebrated their birthdays on March 16th. Happy birthday, Rebecca, Brady, Bryce, Bryce and Latavius. <coughs> on this day in history in 1930, the first U.S. radio broadcast from a ship at sea to land occurred. We have come a long way since then. 
So we aren't going to be able to do any more fire drills at school for the remainder of the school year. So I'm gonna challenge you guys. I want you to create a map for your family, um, like a fire escape map like we have at school. Create one for your family. You can draw a picture of your house and where each person um, might be put bedrooms on there and then show where each of those people um, where they would exit the house in case there were a fire and then include a place outside far away from your house where everybody would meet up um, so that you could count and make sure that everybody was safe then what I want you to do is take a picture of it and um, upload it to this um, Facebook post. Your parents might need to help you. If you have an older brother or sister, they could help you. Um, but we'd love to see your pictures and your fire escape plans for your families. Let's see. Um, don't have a whole lot for Monday other than, hey guys, how are you doing? This is um, a remarkable experience. Um, something none of us have ever been through before. And um, I just want to let you know that um, I miss you, your teachers miss you, Benny misses you, Mr. Sager misses you, Ann misses you, uh, everybody misses all of you. So um, I hope you're being really good for your parents and helping out around the house, um, starting on that homework, getting some of that done. I know you guys can do it. Um, we've got this, right? We've got it. Okay. So I hope you have a marvelous Monday, this your first day of distance learning at Southeast of Saline. Today is a great day to be a Trojan. So be just like Ned. Never give up. Encourage others and do your best. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Can you guess what Miss Harp's doing today? Every day I'm going to be posting in a different location of the school. Can you guess where I am at? I am reading Horton Hears a Who by Dr. Seuss. Now, where can we normally find books like these? Please comment on our Facebook page or on our YouTube channel. Since today is Monday, it is a great day to practice some mindfulness, something I like to call Mindfulness Monday. Sometimes with everything being so new, our mind gets a little bit overwhelmed. We may not be able to think clearly or process things through thoroughly. So sometimes this is where we can do our deep breathing activities, or we could even do some yoga. With spring keeping right outside its doorway, feel free to ask mom and dad to go outside so that you can breathe in all the beautiful spring air that's coming our way. Other things that you could do to help be mindfulness is be in a quiet place for a little bit. Focus on what you need right now. It may be playing outside with mom and dad's permission, Maybe mom and dad want to take you on a walk. Or maybe you want to stretch inside the house. Or maybe you want to do a couple of yoga moves. All of it's great. Working out is great too. It's another great way to keep your mind in a mindfulness state. You can work out inside. You can work out outside. It's just wherever your parents will allow you to be. Practice mindfulness on Monday. Now, every week since this is Monday, we're going to do a mystery song. This mystery song will play about three seconds of the song, and each day you'll get a couple more clues. So, we'll take a listen to the mystery song. I will play that one more time. Take a listen. Who sang this song was born in 1981. This person is a singer-songwriter, they are an actor, and they are a record producer. This song was highlighted in a film that was created back in 2016. And last but not least, the last fact of this mystery song for the week, this person has written over 39 songs. And that is your clues for our mystery song of the week. My challenge for you today is to find a designated work area. Some of us might need some help, so feel free to reach out to a parent or an older sibling who's been in school a little bit longer than you have. We are always here to help. And remember, elementary friends, it's a great day to be a Trojan.
Trojans are just like Ned. We never give up, we encourage others, and we do our best. And we will see you tomorrow for message number two.